Follow up the largest dam removal project in the world is wrapping up on the Klamath River. There's still work being done to restore the watershed and the passage for salmon through the region. And the first salmon have been sighted passing through where the dams once stood. News Watch 12's Rocky Walker went to the site of the final dam that was taken down and spoke with the Klamath tribes, a tribe who's called for this dam removal for decades. Rocky? I'm at the Klamath River just upstream from what used to be the JC Royal Dam. With that being the final of the dams removed at the Klamath River Dam Removal Project, what you see now used to be a reservoir of water up to my feet. Now is just the Klamath River flowing naturally. But this is done so salmon could go upstream. Salmon have already started to show signs that that will be happening. But those who fought for this say that a lot more work still needs to be done. It's a, f a feeling of of spiritual renewal. The Klamath Dam Removal Project is officially complete, leaving what was once filled reservoirs now as natural parts of the Klamath River. All done to restore the local ecosystem of the watershed and replenish a fish that was key to a tribal culture. The, those fish, as we see it in Indian country, in our tribe, is healing medicine for us to uh, not only keep our subsistence going, but also uh, a revival of our culture uh, for fishing. With the fish taking up a third of the Klamath tribe's diet, but being unable to be caught in nearly a hundred years due to the dams. While they celebrate the gradual restoration of the local ecosystem, they say, there's a lot of work left to be done. Rocky Walker, Newswatch 12.